In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use subdomain on Bluehost. So the first thing this we'd like to do, of course, is just go and open whatever browser you are going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here, in my case, I'm actually using Brave. But of course, in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. Once you open that browser, make sure to go into this URL section and simply type bluehost.com and hit the enter button, which will actually take you into this page, which is going to be your home screen or your main screen on the Bluehost website. Of course, if you want to log in into your account, and if you already have it, simply click as login button at the top right corner. And if you don't have an account, you'll have to click at get started or simply because this choice will get you to choose a plan. And it's going to be a bit expensive because you will have to commit with them for one year. You can simply just go and buy your own domain by clicking at this domains option right here. And of course, it will take you to the page that will give you the opportunity to buy your domain from and from there you can start and create your account with that way also so for me i'm just going to click at login which will log in into my account directly because i already logged in into my account in this pc and this is going to be my screen once i logged in into my account so as you said in this or in the beginning of this tutorial, we would like to use the subdomain or add the subdomain. So simply if we want to do that, we'll have to click as domains here, then click at my domains, which will, for you here, you'll find all the domains that you have in your account. For me, I have just one, which is this one. And of course here, simply I'll have to click at manage of the domain that I would like to use the subdomain or on add sub subdomain on. Here, make sure to click at DNS section and as you can see, uh, as you can see, once you click on it, you'll find yourself with this page. Scroll down a bit until you'll find this DNS manager. And as you can see here, this is going to be the record section, which is the subdomain. The record is a subdomain. Simply, if you want to add a subdomain or to use it, you can simply click at add record. Here, you can choose the host record, whatever a host record you want. Then, of course, you will have to enter the point to, which is actually the value. Then, of course, just choose the DLL. You can choose, as you can see, the minimum is four hours and the maximum is seven days. Once you fill all of those, you can simply save your subdomain or record and it will be added right here. Of course, this is just the A subdomain. There's the C name subdomain, there's the MX, and there's the SRV, there's TXT, there's the 4A. Of course, as you can see here, you can add whatever like subdomain you'd like to use you can simply just go to the name of the subdomain that you would like to add and click at add record and you will be good to go after you save this like in this one we want to fill it save this and you will find it added uh, with those records right here right here or those subdomains right here so this will be actually for this tutorial i hope you like it thank you guys for watching goodbye